All right, so um, this is just a what our plan is as far as how to get out of debt. And so, yeah, so it'll be a quick video. Um, yeah, so anyway, so we wrote on this board here, and we'll go over each and everything. Um, Probably have to this straight. Yeah. So here's our credit cards. We have four of them. We got $12.27 on one. And then, of course, they're in order by how much. So two thousand four hundred. Which I'm planning to pay off to the, to either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow by $12 making one. some money from quick cash on Swag. No, no, sorry. Uh, from uh, sur taking surveys online, and then you get you like a dollar or whatever. So I'm planning to pay that off. I'm already at five dollars for it. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that to pay that off like this week. Twelve dollars, twelve twenty-seven cents. Okay. And so our second one, two thousand four hundred, three thousand nine hundred, and five thousand, uh, giving us a total of credit card debt of eleven thousand five hundred, um, and some change. And it's then, actually a little less than this because no, because that's right. No, I know, but we 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 just made a payment of nine hundred dollars uh, a couple of days ago. But so that's um, reflecting that. No, that's not reflecting that yet. So that's actually three thousand and two hundred two dollars. So it's actually nine hundred less. So it's anyway. Let's go on. Yeah. <laughs> and we will do like a budget recap at the end of the month to say like no, how much we paid off. off. The Bank of America one. This is the mm -hmm. Bank of America. One. No, that's the Chase Bank of America one. Is this one? Okay. Anyway, um, so here's our income um, minus seven fifty. And hers is four thirty-eight per week, and so we times that by four, and so we get our take home is roughly four thousand seven hundred per month, and then our bills. This is including our uh, our rent, um, utilities, um, just monthly occurrences, um, uh, like cell phone and and things like that as well as it even includes uh two hundred dollars that we put away for savings and um a hundred dollars uh, for emergency savings that's we only have a hundred allotted there for now for going into emergency savings okay well and a bunch of other stuff um and then of course the budgeting um the nine ten that you see there that's um what we put away for uh per month what we set aside for spending for gas and other in expenses. terms of cash right mm -hmm. um, that goes into our envelope thing but we only do that as you saw in our last video we do that per week but that's what it comes out to is nine ten per month so what it breaks down to is here's our income here is our monthly uh, debt or our monthly bills this is also includes the minimum payments on our credit cards um, so we got 2,800 which gives us a, and also car payment right mm -hmm. yeah and so this gives us an excess of one thousand nine hundred forty four dollars and so um, we're basically taking all but 200 of that and we're putting it down on our credit cards um, and then <clears throat> so let's see so anyway, um, yeah, so what, what our plan is is to pay off the um, my Bank of America credit card first and then we'll go to the next highest one and then pay that off and pay that off. And, and that mainly off. that's because if you're wondering why we're not paying off the lowest, you know, not counting this one, but the lowest uh, amount is because this is on a this um, 0% Yeah, it's a 0% interest. interest. So we're not worried year. about that one just yet. Um, so we're trying to pay off the highest interest one first. Mm -hmm. And then, so if we continue, um, if we're putting $1,700 a month onto our credit cards, um, we are looking at approximately eight months and then we'll be free of our credit cards. And then on my car, um, no. this, is, this is what I still owe my car. Um, yeah. Never we, buy a car within one day of, like, don't, you know, do take your time shopping for a car and 
always buy with cash. We, we, we shopped always... around. Um, but we needed, I needed another car because my other car completely be... broke down. It was gone. It was um, trashed. So. Um, we could have rented it for a couple of weeks. Anyway, so, around. But we bought used, not brand new. And so, anyway, this is what I owe on my car. That's what's left. Um, the monthly payments on that are um, just over $100 a month is the minimum payments. Um, but ever since I got it, I've always paid more and I pay actually 300 a month on that. And so if I continue to pay 300 a month on that, plus, which is actually, that is included in there as well, um, plus the 1700 here, after eight months when this is paid off, um, this will be down um, around, I want to say, uh, 4000 or so. I, I, mm, forgot, I forgot I what it was, was. It was like, um, well, yeah. Well, it, it's, it's 300 to... times 8, yeah, so it's uh, 24, so it's it's 2400 less. So it was like so 3000 3, nearly, nearly 4000 3500 so Anyway, so once we pay that, that off... But we're not including uh, interest that yes. we could have accrued, you know, would have accrued. It's at 6% you know, interest rate. Right, that, that, is, that is true. I'm not counting off interest on here and how much interest is accruing. So this is, as I said, approximately eight months. Approximately. Yeah. Um, it was actually, with not including interest, it came out to um, seven months and, and yeah. something. So mm -hmm. I just rounded it up to eight months. And then what, once we, these are paid off, we're going to continue taking that 1700 And then we're going to start moving it into the car loan per month. And then that will be paid off. Oops, it's a terrible looking squiggly line. Approximately two months after that. Mm -hmm. So we will be debt free in approximately. See if I can do this. Oops. It's totally backwards. <laughs> July. Oh, the fumes of this is making me dizzy. <laughs> July 2020. <laughs> um, so hopefully we will be debt free in approximately um, hopefully be debt free in approximately 10 months hopefully. so yeah. that is that, that's our plan that's our plan we, getting we, we debt are going to be so far it's working you know I mean of course you know one other thing I wanted to note Koa is that um, in <laughs> um, in our cash withdrawals each week for our cash envelopes um, for the two hundred and thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents that we take out each week, um, we actually don't use all of it because you know we don't go through every budgeted um, expenses on um, you know we don't go through it on a weekly basis. So we put it in. So we put the excess that's left over. Not I wouldn't. Call, I don't want to call it excess. I want to call it. Uh, the c categories, the the sinking funds that these um, the, of the cash envelope categories that we don't actually um, touch during the week, we actually just accumulate it together and put it into a, sa a different separate savings account called when we call that um, our rainy day fund. rainy day fund for like things like car. Um, Car, you know, maintenance, oil changes, things that may come up. Yeah, car registration, and and and, and also uh, we have a little thing for just tools, you know, um, for work, you work, know, for work related and school related stuff, and um, so it's just so that we don't dip into our credit cards again when something goes wrong, like something more than you know. Right, right. For example, this past week, I got really sick with, and then had a really bad infection, and we had to use our um, some of those funds. Yes, you know, for medical care costs and things like that. So, so um. So yeah, so the whole point of that rainy day fund basically just so we don't um, recreate more debt on the credit cards. We're not paying more interest on that, so we really want to get rid of those credit cards. I mean, not get rid of them. We just want to get rid of the debt. Um, After I, we, we get rid of that, we can always increase our. Right now, we, our plan is just to save like hundred dollars into emergency fund until we, right. after we then then we move on. And to we and we want to keep our credit cards um, just to keep our uh, credit report up. Um, so that way, if something does happen, we're we're not looking at like a really bad uh, score. Before I met True, I was actually 
like my credit score was probably somewhere around 500, <laughs> 400. I mean, it was terrible. Um, 700 is supposed to be um, really good. Uh, 800, I don't know if you can go higher than 800, but I think 800 is like the highest you can go. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but like, that's like the, the best. You have to be really good to get that. Um, and right now I'm just, my credit score is just under 700. It was higher than that, but because of the credit card debt and all that we've been getting into, it's dipped back below the 700 mark. A so. high balance and then, you know, right. balance ratio versus um, what's available. Right, so hopefully paying off this debt will bring that back up again in, in the 700 range, which is really good uh, for us because we do want to look at buying a house in the future. Um, and so paying off our credit card debts and bringing our credit score back up. Um, and then all that, um, that 1700 and of course in, in the future too, I'll, I'll slowly be getting uh, higher pay um, as uh, I go through uh, my apprenticeship um, for work. And so we'll get, we'll get a little bit more money um, and we'll take all that money and put it towards the savings and then hopefully uh, eventually use that as a down payment for a house. Um, and then we want to make sure we have a good high uh, credit score so that way we can get a good loan um, and good interest and, and you know on the house so cross our fingers mm -hmm. all right so anyway well, that, one step at a time right so anyway that's our plan um, that's our budget how to get a debt plan and um, and next we're gonna make a video discussing what kind of challenges that we had we had a lot of challenges yeah. this past week um, so we'll go into more detail, but three. we want to keep this video short. Um, we don't want to bore you so guys too much. So stay tuned and check out our next video. All right. Thank you. Bye.